Hey, it's the Midnight Remnant, and today we're looking at part two of a cold case called The Billionaire's Slayings. So if you're new to my channel, I am the Midnight Raven. I've started doing these cases on camera. Hopefully, I'm looking all right. That's not the most important thing, though. The most important thing is listening and trying to solve a cold case from many, many years ago. So first, we're going to give you a tiny little recap from video one. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it because you don't want to miss this case. So let's do a small recap. The Billionaire Slains is a cold case of the murder of Barry and Honey Sherman. They were both then dead at their house in their back yards and they had leather belts attached to railings that were tied around their necks and the pressure from having the belts pulled up on the railings effectively hung them. They were both found dead by estate agents who'd came to sell the house and they were meant to be doing viewings that morning to prospective buyers. So this is what we know so far. So moving on. So on the 12th of December, Honey had failed to attend a meeting at a geriatrics foundation. She failed to appear and people thought this was strange. She'd given no reason for not turning up and her absence seemed very unusual. Later on, an email was received from her saying that she was dealing with some stuff and basically wouldn't be there. A little strange, maybe. So it did seem a little strange. So the next day, Barry and Honey were meant to be visiting their own company headquarters to look over the details of a new house design. That was the last time they were both seen alive. Barry was due to be back in the office on the 14th of December, but failed to show. The next morning, the estate agents then found the couple dead in their backyard. So the couple could have died up to 36 hours before being found. So, how are the police handling the case? So, the progress in the case being made by the police was slow, but at that time the police did believe that the couple's killing was suspicious and they were looking into people in and around them as they were kind of high publicized people to see where the links could be found to who would want to hurt the couple. So suspicion fell on Barry's cousins, the Winter brothers. So Kerry Winter once said he had an utter disdain for Barry and that he believed he betrayed him and had every reason to hate him. Kerry had always so stated before that he had thoughts of hurting Barry and strangely enough, Barry had asked him before if he would arrange for the murder of his wife, Honey. So this is very, very strange. Barry wanting them, his wife murdered by these brothers and these brothers apparently having a hatred and wanting to hurt Barry. Seems very sussed, but we will continue. So, tragedy struck the Winter family many, many years before this occurred. And Louis Lloyd Winter, Barry's uncle, had died, leaving behind a fortune to his four young children and a wife, Beverly. Years before, Barry had worked for his uncle one summer when he was younger, and he was working at his uncle's company called Empire Laboratories. He was completing his PhD here, and when Barry finished his PhD, he offered to buy the company, making a business proposition. So, he was allowed to buy the company under stipulations. One condition was that Lewis's four children were allowed to work for the company the day they turned 21 years old, keeping, hopefully, the business in the family. Another stipulation was that when the sons had turned 21 years old, they could buy a 5% stake in the company, which would also keep the company in the family. They were also granted a 15-year royalty on four of the best-selling drugs that the company had, and the agreement would become void if Barry sold the company. So, Barry agreed to these terms and bought the company. Unfortunately, 
A just one year later, Barry would sell the company and set up his own company the following year. The Winter Brothers then learned many, many years later when they were old enough of the fortune that had been denied them after Barry sold the company. This would infuriate the cousins that they had been denied their money. So the cousins would start their legal proceedings against Barry, claiming that by selling the company, they had stolen the family fortune of them. So in 2017, the brothers would take Barry to court, but their case would be dismissed and would be ruled in the favour of Barry. A week later after the case, this was a week before Barry and Honey was found dead, a court ruled that they needed to pay £175,000 to Barry to cover his legal costs after the case had been thrown out of court. So. Where does that lead us? <clears throat> At any one time, Barry had said that his company lawyers had over 1,200 actions in federal court, with at least 50 of them being active at any one time. He was no stranger to being in court. In January 2018, police concluded that the couple's death, Barry and Honey, had been a targeted attack. Who did this targeted attack and the reasons why still remain a mystery. By 2019, officers had a working theory in progress and they were looking at many more leads. By 2020, they had a person of interest but were not releasing any names to the public and keeping their cards, as they call it in the police force, close to their chest. So, in 2022, as I am speaking to you right now, the case still remains open. No one has been arrested for the murder of Barry and Honey, and investigations still continue into the reasons of why Barry and Honey had to die and who the suspects were. There are many, many theories on whether the Winter Brothers targeted Barry and Honey for losing their fortune. There are theories that maybe a drugs company targeted them to get Barry out of the way. There's another theory that a drug deal had gone wrong and some other shady business that Barry was involved in behind the scenes that his wife knew none about could have also targeted him. Many, many theories have been thrown around for many, many years since this death happened and today we still don't have any answers. So why Barry and Honey were killed? and who killed them still remain a mystery. The case is still open as of today, and they are still looking, as they claim, into a person of interest and following more and more leads as they become available. So if you want to see more from me, give us a big thumbs up, comment down below. Do you believe the Winter Brothers really did target Barry and Honey? Do you think somebody else targeted them? Let me know what you think down below. This case still remains open and it really did pique my interest. So if you want to see more of these, give us a big thumbs up. If you want to support the channel and my research that goes into these cases, consider becoming a member of behind the scenes videos. Also consider doing a PayPal or give me a super chat so I know you like the channel. Also follow me on Instagram as well. I do load other stuff on there. Not necessarily true crime theme though, mind you. But if you want to see more from me, remember I load videos every day and I bet you cannot wait for my next cold case and I will see you very soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye guys.